Are you sure this is it? Yeah, this is the address. I got it from Craigslist.com slash 2021 NHL playoff slash blues got swept dot com. Oh, well, if you got it from there, it's gotta be it. This is Zero Wins Avenue. Oh, look, the Oilers team bus just rolled up. This is a pretty sketchy place. Our car already got stolen and I've already been shanked in the ribs. Make sure you bring your gloves. We might have to drop them. He's on the 13th floor. There's no elevator? Let's head up the stairs. Alright, here we are, room 56. Weird, no doorknob, and the welcome mat says, Welcome to heaven? Ugh, I'm starting to think we shouldn't have used Craigslist. Who dis? It's Rhino and the Birdman, from Pressbox Chatter. Rhino and the Birdman? Oh, I love you guys. Come on in. Welcome to my haven. I'm the official hockey god of the NHL. Make yourselves at home. Give me a second. Let's put on some music. Oh, it's press box chatter in ten minutes or less. Oh, it's press box chatter with Rhino and the Birdman. This is your weekly reminder that this show is produced on Tuesday during the day. Therefore, if Montreal wins 7-0 in overtime, or UC Saros makes another 60 saves, it won't be in the f***ing episode. And finally, this is my operating room and barbershop for NHL superstars. I replace Nikita Kucherov's hip, Sheldon Sanderson's legs, and Eric Carlson's Achilles in here. Also recently gave Mitch Marner a filthy mullet. Thanks for the tour of your luxury penthouse, hockey god. This sure is a weird place to live, though. I must remain off-grid, young ones. I have a lot of work to do during the season. So I understand you two want to ask me some questions for your little show. Ask away, I know the answers to literally everything hockey. We have to start by asking you about the biggest story of the week, Nazem Kadri's suspension. What was going through his head when he hit Justin Falk? It's the third straight year he gets a playoff suspension. Oh, Nazem. You know he's a good, honest man, really is. But how do I explain this to you? Here, follow me into this cutaway. Falk gets the puck in front of the net, and here comes Nazem Kadri! Oh man, nothing like playoff hockey. Let's hope it's a good year for me. No more suspensions. Ooh, look! Justin Falk's temple! I've got to ask you about the Washington and Boston series. Real turning point was the miscommunication between Capitals defenseman Justin Schultz and goalie Ilya Samsonov in Game 3. It led to a Craig Smith game-winning goal and ultimately a 4-1 series win for Boston. Did you have any influence on that overtime goal? In all honesty, old Lucy bet me $100 that the Caps would... Lucy? Satan. The Devil. Big Red. You know. Oh, right. He had $100 on Washington that night, so I took over the mind of Justin Schultz and made him think he had time. Ah, uh, Craig Smith is on me. Better move it quick. You're in the clear, Justin. Plenty of time. Don't worry. Oh, f***ing right, Scott. Thanks, baby. I really like these cutaway skits. Let's do another one. Tell us what was going through Pittsburgh's Tristan Jari's head when he basically passed the puck to Islanders' Josh Bailey in double overtime. Follow me. All right, here comes the puck from the Islanders' zone. Nobody forechecking, got all the time in the world. Gonna make a perfect tape-to-tape -tape pass to my defenseman. Nobody on him either. Wait a second, uh, but I do have those eight leftover sushi pieces at home and uh, that chocolate fondue cake. And my whole family's there watching the game. They must be hungry. Hell, I'm hungry. Okay, better end this game quick so I can get home and stuff my face. Okay, here you go, Josh Bailey, end the game. Two 
hours later. Oh, oh f***. The sushi hits the spot. And that's the story of Tristan Jarry's Monday night. What role did you play in the Oilers' 4-1 collapse in Game 3? I mean, how did they go from favorites to getting swept? Uh, um, actually, uh, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, I know nothing. I have no idea what happened. Oh, the guy who knows everything about hockey has no idea what happened to the Oilers? Give me your break. Okay, fine. Just let my family go. I fell asleep on the toilet when they were up 4-1. McDavid got so mad at me. He hasn't answered any of my texts. Okay, Sam, I think it's about time we head out. Hockey God's got a lot of work to do. He's probably scheduled another double overtime game for Carolina and zero goals for the Habs tonight. Hey, hey, <clears throat> hey uh, wait one second. Why don't you stay a bit? Uh, you know, I don't get much company these days with this whole COVID. Stay for dinner. Let's break bread together. Enjoy some red wine. Play a game. Play a game? Oh, we like games. Let's stay a bit, Rye. After all, our car was stolen. Let's play two truths, one lie. We all agreed on it. I'll kick us off. Wait, this isn't fair. Shut up. The Carolina and Nashville series is heating up. Guess the lie. Nashville's UC Saros made 110 saves on 117 shots in games three and four. The Nashville Predators won two straight games in double overtime. Game five was canceled because a swarm of killer hornets hijacked the Hurricanes plane and brought the team to their nest. Well, those first two are just ridiculous. The last one, obviously. I'd never let that happen to my children. Hey, where'd you get a buzzer? And how come I have to go up against a hockey god? Rhino, I can have whatever I want instantaneously. I am a god. I asked the next one. Good luck, Sam. It's literally impossible to beat him. The Battle of Florida just got a whole lot spicier. Panthers rookie goalie Spencer Knight made 36 straight saves after letting in a goal in the opening minute to keep Florida's playoff hopes alive. Guessed a lie. At the age of 20, Spencer Knight became the youngest goalie to ever start a game facing elimination. At the age of 20, Spencer Knight is the fifth youngest goalie to win an NHL playoff game. At the age of 20, Spencer Knight celebrated the win with a night out at every Florida bar along the beach line, which you can only do at 21. Easy, number three. You really thought that one through, didn't you? Hey God, come on, why did you just let him have it? And where'd you get that f***ing buzzer? I always walk around with the buzzer on me, boy. You never know when a game show might break out. I've been on Family Feud twice, and I started in the audience. Hey, let me do one. The Minnesota Wild faced elimination last night against the Vegas Golden Knights and finally figured out how to solve the riddle that was Marc-Andre Fleury. <clears throat> thanks to me. Guess the lie. Zach Parise was a healthy scratch for the first three games of the series, but scored in Game 5. Cam Talbot made 38 saves on 40 shots. The Wild will play Game 6 at home in front of 300 billion cans of mini sodas. I well, definitely, definitely not. It. Oh, well, I know it can't number. be number... Number Shut three up, is let lie. me go. Why I oughta... <laughs> Thank you so much for having us, Hockey God. Even though we showed up completely unannounced. And found your address on Craigslist. You might want to do something about that. Yes, of course, I'll address that. Do you gentlemen have a way home? I noticed a group of chimpanzees took off with your car. I guess they're probably filming another Planet of the Apes movie around here. Ah, uh, all good. We got our skates, and we need the workout. Why don't I at least upgrade those for you? Oh my god, mini turbo skate rocket ships with the Healy Wheels add-on designed by SpaceX. Ooh! I've been eyeing these bad boys for months! Yeah! Thanks, Thanks Hockey, Hockey God. God! Oh, it's press box chatter. 